Uh, today, thanks to a lot of our toolchain work, um, including the Redgate software um, like SQL Release and SQL Compare, um, we're managing to release uh, up to 95 times a day. It's vastly improved over one every six weeks. <laughs> Absolutely 100%. Skyscanner is growing at a kind of ridiculous rate. I think the, the statistics somewhere north of 40% year-on-year growth this year, 2015, compared to last year. Um, we've got roughly a 50-50 split between engineering and non-engineering in Skyscanner. We're currently around about 700 people in, in the global company across 10 offices. We're averaging around about 50 million um, monthly unique visitors across our mobile and web applications at the moment. As a, as a company, we operate very much as a tech company um, and we deliver travel products. I'm working quite closely as a product owner with our release engineering squads. Um, they are responsible for the tool chains that support our developers uh, with releasing their software uh, to production. So things like continuous integration, continuous delivery, and obviously the Redgate tools have, have underpinned a lot of those, uh, those, those tool chains. We consider everything after a developer checks a code into source control as a part of a tool chain that allows them to release their software to production, whether that's an incremental rollout or something like a blue-green release pattern. All that kind of technology to get the software out to market is what we consider the tool chain. Tools like SQL Release and SQL Compare from Redgate, they, they do provide an awesome amount of visibility on what's going on because part of any tool chain's effectiveness is its transparency. So that's definitely a, a major kind of plus point. Uh, the other plus point is the speed to market. Uh, because we have that level of visibility and the, the testing that we can wrap up around that, it means we can automate more of the tool chain and ultimately release faster. Going back to sort of mid 2013, Skyscanner had um, a, a big monolithic um, suite of software as part of its main release train. Um, and around about that time, we were seeing uh, there was a four to six week release cycle. Um, the impact of that was um, a team of people to nurse that release out the door effectively, the release team. So that included people from test engineering, development, infrastructure, DBAs, all those kind of things. And it added up to hundreds of man hours um, coming up to every six weeks a release into production. Uh, today, thanks to a lot of our tool chain work, um, including the Redgate software, um, like SQL Release and SQL Compare, um, we're managing to release uh, up to 95 times a day. It's vastly improved over one every six weeks. <laughs> Absolutely 100%. It's been a, it's been a marked um, improvement in and around the area of service ownership. Um, our production DBAs have been uh, dramatically enabled to, to own the, the products themselves um, because of the database lifecycle management products from Redgate. Um, we've built a framework around that that allows them to own and operate their entire real estate and release changes to production safely. The quicker we can get our products out to the market, uh, the happier essentially our customers will be and the less likely they, they'll be to go elsewhere. Um, so we definitely are customer driven, customer focused and our time to market is, is critically important which, which feeds back into the whole reason of having tool chains that enable developers to move quicker uh, and products like Redgate uh, that feed into those tool chains enable us to do that.